Here's how to check the fluid in your differentials, front and rear, on a four-wheel drive Chevy truck. This is a 1995 model. So on the driver's side, you can see I'm shining my flashlight here, you have your front differential. There's a drain plug there if you would want to drain the oil. And then up high here, there's a plug where you add oil. So in there, you want to stick your finger in and kind of bend it down the hole and have the oil a half inch down below the opening. So you can get a false positive if you reach your finger down in there and rub it around in the oil residue. So what you want to do is stick your finger in there without touching any of the walls and kind of dip it down and then bring it out and see oil on the end of your finger like this. So I stick my finger in there, but I'm not touching any of the walls. And I bring my finger out. And you can see oil is, is definitely covering my finger, so I know that there's enough oil in there. All right, on the rear differential here, I'm on the passenger side of the vehicle just in front of the back wheel. And you can see there's an add plug right here. The back one's easier than the front one because you just want to put oil into it until oil won't go into it anymore. So you just pump oil into it after you take this plug out. And uh, when the oil starts puking back out of the hole, then you know it's full. Of course, make sure you're parked on level ground to do both of these things. All right, and in the middle of the truck, you got your transfer case. So you can see that bolt hole right there. There's the skid plate and there's a drain hole right above the skid plate here. But the add hole is right up here. And so all you got to do is open that up. And uh, if you've got a truck where you can switch it between two wheel and four wheel drive mode, then you want the oil to be running out of that hole. And then you'll know it's full. So fill it all the way up to that hole so a little bit's oozing out. So if the truck's full time four wheel drive and you don't have two wheel drive mode, then you want it to be half inch below that hole. So the differentials are going to take gear oil and the transfer case takes automatic transmission fluid.